Right, so we're looking at the integral of x times one minus x raised to the power of 2020. And there's loads of ways to tackle this. I'm gonna show three different uh, solutions that I thought the most straightforward. And the first one is a substitution method. So we want to simplify this bracket here. We don't wanna expand out all these brackets, obviously. And one way to simplify this is we're just gonna let this term to be u. So if we let u to be one minus x, and we need to differentiate this, we have du equals minus dx. So then let's try and use this. This gives us the integral of, we have an x term, I'll leave that as a space for now, but the one minus x turns into u to the power of 2020, and then the dx turns into a minus du. So multiply by minus du. And then we've also got this x term out the front, so we need to express this in terms of u as well. So we can do that by just rearranging this equation. We have x equals one minus u. And this gives us one minus u at the front. So this is a nice technique because we've simplified the bracket with the really high power to just a simple um, a variable, just u. And then we've kind of put that complicated uh, factor out the front. And this makes it easier to integrate. So then we can bring the minus to the front. We can uh, switch the order of this bracket to simplify it, so we have u minus one of u to the power of 2020 du. And we can also split this bracket. That's why it's nice because we don't have any high power. We can just uh, split the two terms. So we have u to the power of 2021 minus u to the power of 2020. And this is something we, we can integrate. It's very simple. We just raise the power by one and divide by the new power. So our answer is gonna be u to the power of 2022 divided by 2022 minus u to the power of 2021 divided by 2021 and plus c. And then the last step is to just express this in terms of x. So just replace u by uh, one minus x. I'll do this over here. So our solution is one minus x to the power of 2022 divided by 2022 minus one minus x to the power of 2021 over 2021 plus c. So here we go, this is the answer. So that's the first way to do it. I'm just gonna wipe up the board and we're gonna look at the second strategy. So the second strategy is just a brute force algebra strategy. And it's kind of a similar strategy to the substitution, but it just takes a slightly different path. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to add an imaginary zero. So we're gonna have the same term here, x times one minus x. It's the power of 2020. And I'm just gonna add and subtract the same factor. So I'm gonna add one minus x to the power of 2020, and I'm gonna subtract it again. So we haven't changed anything. And this is the power of 2020 dx. And the reason I did that is then we can factor out one of these terms with the original one. And then we get something we can integrate. So if we do this, uh, we have the integral, just factoring out these two terms, the first one and the last one, we have x minus one times one minus x to the power of 2020, plus one minus x to the power of 2020 as well, dx. And this is actually the same factor as this, up to a minus. So we can bring it on minus and then raise the power by one. So I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll leave the minus here. We have minus one minus x to the power of 2021, and then plus this term, one minus x, 2020 dx. So this is kind of essentially the same as the substitution. We got to the same answer without using the u's, but then this is something we, we can integrate. So we just do standard integration, raise the power by one, and then divide by new power. So we have one minus x to the 2022 divided by 2022. But it's also important to note that we have a minus x in here. So we need to think about the reverse chain rule. And that means if we differentiate this, we're gonna bring down the powers, they're gonna cancel with the constants but we also need to multiply by the derivative of this bracket, which is just minus one. So we kind of need to put another minus in here and that's just gonna cancel with our first minus. So this is a plus here. And then the same goes here for this term, we integrate one minus x to the power of 2021 over 2021. And as we we're saying, we need another minus term. So this is a minus, the plus turns to a minus. And then we need a plus c. And this is the, the, our answer. This is the same as we had before, just a slightly different strategy. And let's wipe the board again, and I've got one more solution to show you. So the last way we're gonna integrate this integral is using a biparts formula. So we have this term, the x term, which is something we can differentiate, 
and we're multiplying it by another term, which is something we can integrate. And then that's gonna, the x is gonna disappear to a one, and then that's gonna allow us to evaluate this. So we let u to be equal to x, and we let v dashed to be equal to the second term. So one minus x to the 20, 20. And then we differentiate u, we have u dashed equals one, and integrate v dashed to get it to v. So just doing the same trick as before, we've raised this, uh, the power by one, 2021 20, divided by 2021 20, and put a minus in the front. And then we just need to remember our by, by parts formula. So this is, I'll just remind you, it's u times v dashed. So integral of the top two terms, which is what we have, this equals the diagonal terms, u times v minus the integral of the bottom row. So u dashed times v. So if we just use this formula, this is going to give us, so u times v, which is uh, minus x times 1 minus x to the 2021 20, divided by 2021 20, and then we have minus the integral of u dash times v and notice there's a minus in here as well so I'm just going to bring it out to the front and give us a plus and then we're left with 1 minus x to the 2021 20, divided by 2021 20, dx so this time is already sorted and we just need to integrate this second integral, which is something we can do. Um, we just use the same strategy as we were using. So I let uh, the first term be on its own. So we have the same as we had minus x times one minus x, 2021 over 2021. And then to integrate this, we uh, one minus x to the power of, raised power by one, so we have 2022 20, divided by, we had the 2021 20, there already, and we need to divide this again by 2022. 20, and then again, remember the reverse chain rule, we need to put a minus out the front. So we need another minus here. And finally, I'm just gonna add plus C, just the integration factor. So this is actually our answer. It looks different to the other ones, but you can show it's equivalent. If you just factor out one of these terms and use a, some algebra tricks, you can actually show it's equivalent to uh, the other two solutions. Uh, but this is just another way to tackle this problem if you prefer integration by parts.